Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. In this video, we are getting a little bit caught up. It's been a long time since I've done like a personal update, so that's what this video is. And then I also have a really fun giveaway, a partnership that I'm excited to share with you. There's a lot of new going on in 2019 for, for you, I'm sure, and for me as well, but one of the new things that I've needed is a new purse. My purse has definitely seen better days. I bought this purse about six years ago. Actually, my husband bought it for me when we were dating, and it, uh, it seemed to work really well for me because, one, it fit well in my um, work bag. I could just toss it in there. I like that it had a little wrist sling, which made it just really um, easy to just put that on and run in and do an air and take it out of my work bag. And now that I'm a mommy, putting it in my diaper bag just seemed to really work well. But now I've been thinking, oh, I would really like to have you know, a nice purse, a nice bag, especially if I'm gonna go out with the husband or something. And so Bozana reached out to me and I wanted to work with them because it's kind of a fun take on purse shopping. And they agreed to work with me to give away a subscription, a one box subscription to one of you ladies. Uh, Bozana Bags is a really neat company. If you like to have handbags at a good deal, they do a monthly subscription where they send you a handbag and an accessory. And if that's too much for you, you feel like, I don't need a new handbag every month. They do a seasonal subscription where you can get four bags within the year, or you can just do it uh, one month where they will pair you with a bag that really works for you. And it's a really easy, neat company where you will go on and fill out a questionnaire. So you'll fill out just your preferences, what kind of bags you like, your lifestyle. So I filled out their survey and this is what they sent me. I haven't opened it yet um, because I wanted to open it with you. But if you win, this is kind of what you can expect in the mail. And we're gonna open this together and kind of give a little bit of a review. Wow, okay, so I told them I was a mommy. So they have sent me a really nice, big bag. This is a beautiful shade of brown and it has gold detailing which I detailed that I like that in my survey. So this is a beautiful bag. Definitely going to work well uh, with being able to put diapers in here and bottles. I mean I could kind of convert this into a very stylish diaper bag if I wanted to. I love all of the extra space in here and it's got a black lining with some pockets. There's also a really cute fashion accessory here. I had signed up for this subscription in December so it's uh, winter inspired jewelry that is golden snowflakes, which is really cute. So I'm, I'm happy with what I got. It was a surprise. I didn't know what they were going to send. So that's another fun thing about Balzano is that they, um, you have that element of surprise with a subscription box. So to enter to win a subscription box from Balzano, you can comment below and tell me what's something new that you're trying out in 2019. And then also I'll need you to register on Balzano's website and I'll have all the information in the description box below on how to do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into our chat. So some things that I want to kind of share with you just as like, if you're my girlfriend and we were gonna catch coffee together, this is kind of what I would want to share with you. So uh, one of the things is being a mom of two now, having had a baby, um, she's like almost two months old now. So I wanna kind of share with you like what it's been like to go from one to two babies. I'm also gonna share with you about my new haircut. Um, if you've been a part of my channel for any length of time, you know that I've had really long hair. I've had long hair for years now. And so I finally got the chop and I've kind of got a funny uh, story to share with you about that. And then finally, I'm gonna share with you some habits that I'm doing in 2019 and how I'm fitting them in as a mom now of two, two and under. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is my hair and just address the obvious. If you are a subscriber of mine, you've been around for a while, you know that I've had long hair all the way down even to my waist at one point and I finally like after my second child um, recently I was like I'm desperate to just minimize this, minimize the time it takes to fix it so I just wanted to chop it off. So I literally we, I did at home. Well, I didn't. That's why I'm going to share with you. This is a pretty neat tool where you can cut your hair. It was um, featured on Shark Tank. Now, this is not the brand that was on Shark Tank. My husband, he's always out for a deal, so he bought a a knockoff. <laughs> so I wanted to just, I wanted to chop it. I knew that I wanted it to be probably about up to here. I thought I could deal with that much of a difference. And I knew that I wanted it to be a blunt 
cut and not anything layered. I just kind of wanted it all one length. Um, and so I used the smaller one because it's, it's a straight, not the curved one that kind of gives you Anyway, yeah, the curved edge. So I just put my hair in this and I pulled it down like this and I was going to cut it about here and then I kind of was getting nervous. I was like, Ben, can you can you cut my hair? Ben got the scissors and I don't know what got into him. He was just giddy like a little kid. He's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna cut your hair. And then I'm looking at him and he cuts the hair and he looks at me and he's like, oh, you're supposed to cut underneath, not over top. And I'm like, what in the world are you talking about? So I turned toward the mirror and he had like chopped this jagged edge above this thing. So it was about two or three inches shorter than what I had envisioned, which was down here, you know. It's so like, Ben, what have you done? My hair. But um, we straightened out the edges. What was done was done. But I found that I really, really like the length and I actually think it's kind of the perfect length for a mom. It's great if you're nursing because your hair is not in the way. You don't have to pull it up or, you know, try to push it back or anything like that. I like that it's just super easy to blow dry now. With my long hair, I have really thick strands that hold a lot of water. It took forever if I wanted to blow dry my hair. So now it's really quick to do that. Um, also, with the shorter length, I get a lot more volume at the roots with less effort and I like that and I also like that it's super easy like to put up I can still put it up in a ponytail I can put it up in a little side bun or a top knot anything that I need to do and I like that I can wear it straight and it looks pretty sleek and then I can also curl it and um, have this look here so all in all I love the cut and I like cutting my hair at home I didn't think I'd ever be brave enough to do that but I feel like just with a blunt cut like why am I paying $45 to go get that done when I could, you know, pretty much figure it out, especially if you have a tool that helps you to have it level. I feel like it's a neat way to save money cutting your hair at home, and if you trust your husband to help you out, <laughs> he can do it for you. But uh, anyway, so I get a lot of compliments on this haircut since I've gotten it cut, and um, it's just so fun to say, yeah, my husband did it. I don't give him the whole the whole issue of like how how it came to this length but to spare him but now all of you know so <laughs> anyway so yeah my husband cut my hair and it's great I love it now the most important is uh, having a, another child so a lot of you didn't even know I was pregnant and I didn't do pregnancy updates I had thought about that but I feel like there's so many on YouTube and I just I would just get lost in the crowd of pregnancy updates. I think it's a really exciting time and I love talking about it, but I just didn't know that all of you would be interested in that or, or what, I don't know. But yes, I was pregnant and <laughs> I did have a baby and she's almost two months old now. Her name is Bethany. She's the sweetest little thing um, and I've just enjoyed her so much. And now being a mom of two, two and under really has been interesting. It's not something I didn't anticipate. I anticipated it to be a challenge. Um, I anticipated being tired, you know, and not sleeping, you know, for the first several months. So after about six weeks, we've kind of gotten into a rhythm and Bethany's fallen into a predictable-ish sleep pattern throughout the day and the night. So it's been a lot easier for us to plan our days. Ben works at home, so uh, in coordinating the children, a lot of times it's divide and conquer between us with the two kids. And But it really is neat to be a family of four. I'm loving like just having two girls and um, yeah, just, you know, it just used to be Ben and I and the baby and now it's us and the kids so it kind of just feels like a more well-rounded uh, family life for us and so it's been really really fun anyway if you want to know more about the mommy stuff and having two young kids let me know in the comments and I'll do a separate video that talks more about the details I mean I could talk about this all day it's such a big part of my life having two little ones but I just know that it's been really tough and things have been crazy you know at the beginning as I expected but now we're falling into more of a routine I'm able to pick up my old um, responsibilities again make videos again and keep the house somewhat clean and all of that so <laughs> anyway okay finally I want to share with you some new habits that I'm doing in 2019 that surprisingly I've been able to pull off and it has really enriched 
uh, my life. So the first one is exercise, which I tried not to jump in too soon after the baby and wait, you know, the whole recovery period, but um, in ease into it. And I haven't really been doing any core exercises uh, right now, but doing a lot of leg exercises and arm exercises. And it's been amazing how my stamina has increased. You know, I, you just think that if I'm burning all this energy during the day doing exercises, won't I be more tired? I'm not getting enough sleep in the night, but it's actually done the opposite for me and it's really boosted my energy levels during the day, even though I'm not getting full night's sleep at this point. And how I'm fitting that one in is I just do it when the kids are awake and we're down in the living area, usually just after breakfast. Sophia kind of likes to work out with mommy and then the baby is just content to lay nearby. Sometimes I'll put her underneath me for some of the exercises and have a little face-to-face -face time. And I'm really thinking about doing a postpartum workout video and showing you my routine. If you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments. Another habit that I'm doing is I'm getting in some Bible reading time. I had kind of fallen off the wagon with that, but I think there's a lot of value in it. And having the Bible app on my phone has really helped me to just read a passage. I've been reading in Matthew, uh, you know, it's one of the gospels. It just kind of tells about Jesus' life and his teachings and stuff. So I've been reading that before I go to bed and, and not trying to read too much. I want just a, enough to really meditate on as I'm going to sleep. So that has been really, really good. And then praying, of course, after that and trying to pray throughout the day has been really helpful and good for me uh, just to see God's hand in my life all throughout the day. So that's another habit that has been amazing. A third habit that I've been getting into is essential oils. You may have seen my unboxings of the Simply Earth essential oils boxes and uh, the recipe boxes and this video is not about that it's not sponsored by them or anything um, have really helped me to incorporate essential oils in my everyday life so I'm diffuse them every day I use roll-ons every day I have little body butters that I've made that I use all the time and so uh, it's really been enriching to have these essential oils to have aromatherapy to have all these self-care products that I've made with them if you'd be interested to learn more about just what I'm talking about about. I have some unboxings that I've done of Simply Earth and you can check those out. So don't forget to comment below and tell me what is a habit, what is a goal for you in 2019? What's new? Maybe just a life change, maybe not a goal or anything like that. Just something that's new for you this year. And don't forget to register on Balzana's website for a chance to win a one month subscription box to their uh, purse uh, subscription service. I will announce the winner in about 10 days. So be on the lookout for an announcement video. All right, friends, thanks for joining me in this little life update. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.